In San Francisco, the ambitious pharmaceutical chemist Will Rodman is on the brink of groundbreaking discoveries at the cutting-edge biotechnology company Gensys. His quest is to find a cure for Alzheimer's disease, a condition that has personally affected his family. Will's hopes rest on ALZ-112, a viral-based drug designed to repair brain function and restore lost memories. With high stakes and great anticipation, Will begins testing ALZ-112 on chimpanzees. One such test subject, Bright Eyes, a chimpanzee, exhibits astonishing results. Her intelligence soars unprecedentedly, showing remarkable problem-solving abilities and advanced communication skills. This breakthrough is nothing short of miraculous, and Will prepares to present his findings to the company's board of directors, confident that ALZ-112 is the key to changing the future of medicine. However, the day of the presentation takes a disastrous turn. Bright Eyes, agitated and frantic, escapes from her cage. In a desperate and chaotic bid for freedom, she barrels through the facility, her intelligence no match for her primal fear. The scene escalates rapidly, and in the ensuing commotion, Bright Eyes is tragically shot and killed. The shockwaves of this incident ripple through Gensis, leading Will's superior, Stephen Jacobs, to terminate the entire project. The order is given to euthanize all the chimpanzees, effectively shutting down years of promising research in an instant. But amidst the tragedy, a startling revelation comes to light. Will's loyal assistant, Robert Franklin, discovers that Bright Eyes' rampage was driven by a potent maternal instinct, she had given birth shortly before the presentation. The infant chimpanzee, an innocent life born into chaos, becomes an unexpected beacon of hope. Despite his initial reluctance, Will takes the baby chimp home, naming him Caesar. As days turn into weeks, it becomes clear that Caesar has inherited his mother's enhanced intelligence, a silent testament to the potency of ALZ-112. Will, moved by a combination of scientific curiosity and paternal affection, decides to raise Caesar himself. Over the next three years, Caesar blossoms into an extraordinary being. His cognitive abilities surpass any average chimpanzee's, he learns to communicate fluently through sign language, forming a deep bond with Will. During this period, Will's life intertwines with Carolina Rania, a compassionate primatologist. Their relationship grows alongside Caesar, with Caroline offering insight and support as they navigate the complexities of raising an exceptionally intelligent chimpanzee. Together, they introduce Caesar to the wonders of the natural world, taking him to the majestic redwood forest at Muir Woods National Monument. Here, Caesar experiences a sense of freedom and exploration, contrasting his confined beginnings. Meanwhile, driven by his stakes, Will administers ALZ-112 to his ailing father, Charles, who suffers from Alzheimer's. The effects are almost miraculous, Charles's cognitive abilities are restored, and it seems that Will's dream of a cure has been realized for a time. Yet, as with all powerful discoveries, the true implications of ALZ-112 are to unfold, setting the stage for unforeseen consequences that will challenge the boundaries between human and animal intelligence. Five years later, Caesar grew into a robust and intelligent adult chimpanzee. As he matures, he begins questioning his origins and place. This inner turmoil is compounded by the return of Charles Alzheimer's symptoms as his immune system builds resistance to the effects of ALZ-112. The heart-wrenching sight of his adoptive grandfather slipping back into confusion and helplessness fills Caesar with a deep sense of injustice. A bewildered Charles wanders outside one fateful day, and a confrontation ensues with their aggressive neighbor, Douglas Hunsiker. As Hunsiker berates and intimidates Charles, Caesar springs into action to defend him, injuring Hunsiker in the process. This act of defense, however noble, has dire consequences. The local animal control authorities intervene, deeming Caesar a threat, and he is forcibly taken to a grim ape shelter. The stark and unfriendly shelter is a far cry from the loving home Caesar has known. Here, he faces new adversities. He is tormented by Rocket, the aggressive alpha chimpanzee, and cruelly mistreated by Dodge Landon, the chief guard, with a penchant for sadistic behavior. But amid the hostility, Caesar finds an unexpected ally in Maurice, a wise and gentle orangutan who once performed in a circus and knows sign language. This shared means of communication forges a bond between them, 
offering Caesar a glimmer of hope and companionship. As the days pass, Caesar's keen intellect and resourcefulness emerge. He cleverly learns to unlock his cage, allowing free access to the shelter's common areas. This newfound mobility empowers him, and with the formidable strength of Buck, a mighty gorilla, Caesar begins to challenge Rocket's dominance. Through strategic planning and sheer determination, Caesar eventually overthrows Rocket and claims the Alpha position, earning respect and allegiance of the other apes. Meanwhile, at Genesis, Will is desperate to help his father and seeks a more effective solution. He proposes the development of ALZ-113, a more potent, gaseous version of the drug. Despite the inherent risks, Stephen Jacobs eagerly authorizes its development, enticed by the potential for even greater breakthroughs in intelligence enhancement. Will brings the new drug home, hoping it will save his father, but Charles, weary and resigned, declines further treatment. Heartbreakingly, Charles passes away in his sleep, leaving Will devastated. In the lab, an unfortunate accident occurs when Robert Franklin, during an attempt to test ALZ-113 on a bonobo named Koba, is exposed to the drug. The exposure leaves Franklin gravely ill, highlighting the dangerous side effects of the new formula. Despite these alarming developments, Jacobs pushes for continued trials, driven by ambition and disregarding ethical considerations. Unable to condone these reckless actions any longer, Will makes the difficult decision to quit his position at Genesis, disillusioned by the company's relentless pursuit of progress at any cost. Attempting to warn Will at his home, Robert Franklin arrives in a dire state. Desperate and struggling to breathe, he sneezes violently, spraying blood onto the unsuspecting neighbor, Douglas Hunsiker. This ominous incident marks Franklin's final moments, as he is later found dead, his body a stark testament to the deadly effects of ALZ-113 exposure. Meanwhile, Will, tormented by guilt and concern for Caesar, attempts to reclaim him from the shelter. However, Caesar, now fully aware of his abilities and purpose, decides to stay. In a bold move, he steals canisters of ALZ-113 from Will's house, intending to share the intelligence-enhancing gas with the other apes in the shelter. This act of defiance sets the stage for a revolution. In the shelter, Caesar's leadership and cunning become evident. He strategically releases the gas, exposing his fellow apes to ALZ-113 and enhancing their intelligence. The transformation is immediate and profound as the apes begin to understand their plight and the potential for freedom. Empowered and united, they look to Caesar as their leader. The turning point comes when Dodge Landon, the sadistic guard, attempts to force Caesar back into his cage. In a dramatic and powerful moment, Caesar reveals his speaking ability, uttering a firm and defiant no. The shock of this revelation is palpable, and a fierce battle ensues between Caesar and Dodge. Caesar inadvertently kills Dodge during the struggle, solidifying his role as the ape's protector and leader. With newfound resolve, Caesar leads the apes in a daring escape from the shelter. They break into Gen Sis, freeing Koba, and the remaining apes remain captive. The rebellion doesn't stop there, the apes also liberate their counterparts from the San Francisco Zoo, swelling their numbers and strengthening their ranks. The climax of this uprising takes place on the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. As the apes come across, they face a formidable police blockade. A fierce battle ensues, with the apes using their enhanced intelligence and strength to outmaneuver and overpower the authorities. The scene is chaotic and intense, a testament to their determination to reach the Redwood Forest and the freedom it promises. In a heroic act of sacrifice, Buck, the robust gorilla standing by Caesar's side, charges at a helicopter, threatening their escape. With immense strength, Buck brings the helicopter down but pays the ultimate price with his life. His sacrifice buys the ape's crucial time and creates a path to freedom. The climax reaches a dramatic peak as Koba, driven by vengeance and rage, pushes the crippled helicopter, with Stephen Jacobs still inside, into the sea. The apes' victory on the bridge marks a significant turning point in their struggle, symbolizing their physical escape and their break from the chains of human oppression. As the apes make their way into the sanctuary of the Redwood Forest, their newfound freedom is palpable. The towering trees and open skies symbolize a world of possibilities, far removed from the confines and cruelties of human captivity. This is where they can finally be themselves, 
living under the leadership of their visionary, Caesar. However, the serenity of this moment is soon interrupted by Will, who has tracked Caesar to the forest. Driven by love, fear, and desperation, Will confronts Caesar, warning him of the inevitable human response. He pleads with Caesar to return home to avoid the retaliation and bloodshed that will follow. The tension is thick as the fate of the apes hangs in the balance. Caesar steps forward in a poignant and emotional exchange, meeting Will's eyes with deep understanding and compassion. He embraces Will, a gesture filled with their memories and bonds. In a gentle and resolute voice, Caesar declares, Caesar is home. This moment of clarity and finality underscores Caesar's decision to lead his kind to a new beginning, accepting their place in the wild, where they truly belong. Will, heartbroken yet understanding, nods in acceptance of Caesar's wishes. He knows that Caesar's path is one of destiny, and despite the dangers ahead, he respects the choice. As Will steps back, the apes gather around Caesar, their leader, and embrace their new lifestyle with a sense of purpose and unity. Meanwhile, back in the human world, the consequences of ALZ 113 begin to unfold with terrifying speed. Douglas Hunsiker, now infected with the deadly virus, arrives at San Francisco International Airport, oblivious to the impending catastrophe he carries within. As he navigates the bustling terminal, he unknowingly becomes a vector for the virus, coming into contact with countless travelers. The virus, designed to enhance intelligence in apes, has a fatal effect on humans. As Hunsiker boards his flight, the seeds of a global pandemic are sown. The virus spreads rapidly within days, leaping from city to city and crossing continents. What was once a breakthrough in scientific research now turns into a harbinger of doom, ushering in a deadly pandemic that threatens the very fabric of human civilization. The final scenes juxtapose the apes' newfound freedom in the forest with the growing chaos in the human world. While the apes find peace and a sense of belonging in their natural habitat, humanity faces an unprecedented crisis. The spread of ALZ 113 marks the beginning of a new era, one that will challenge the survival of mankind and reshape the balance of power between humans and apes.